In this lesson, we want to add the code to the coin, so when the player touches the coin, the coin will disappear. In effect, looking like the player has collected the coin. Now, what I want you to do is go across to the coin scene. And in the coin scene, make sure you've selected coin, and then click to add a script. Instead of the default template, let's go for an empty template and create. Making sure that the coin is selected, go across to the right hand panel where we've got the inspector and you'll notice at the top we also have another panel called node. And we click on that, we see signals and groups. Make sure signals is selected. Now we look down here, we've got various options. And under area 2D, there's one called body entered. In other words, when a body enters this particular area 2D, we can send a signal. So I'm going to double click on this one. And it says from signal body entered. So when we enter this particular body, we're going to send the signal to a script. And the script we're going to send it to is in the coin. Down here, we can see the name of the method that will be created on coin body entered and click on connect. So here we are in the coin script. We can see we're extending area 2D, just to get rid of a few spaces here. And we've created a function or the signal has created a function here on coin body entered. And we've got an argument of body. So this body will represent the player body passing over or touching the coin. When that happens, we want to run some code. And basically we want the code for making the coin disappear. And that's quite easy. It's just Q free. So when this body, the player body touches the coin, the coin will disappear. I'm going to click on command S to save that coin. I'm going to go to level one. You can see on level one, now all of my coins have scripts attached to them. I'm going to click on play. I'm going to move my player. And as I touch the coins, they disappear as if I have collected them. So nice and easy way to collect coins. Now there is an issue with this. If we have, let me just reset this actually. I'll play it again. If we have an enemy on this scene here and the enemy touches the coin, then the coin will also disappear. And there's a couple of ways to deal with this. And we're going to deal with it just with this line of code in here. So currently the body that we want to check for is the player body. And in my player, I know that it's called player. So what I can do is I can write a little conditional statement in here. I can say if the body dot name is equal to player and put a colon in here and then I can indent this Q free. So if the body that touches the coin, if the name of that is player, then we can get rid of the coin. And let's test that just to see if it's still working. So I'll click on play, go up from my player, and there we can see we are still collecting the coins.